Get ready, Formula One enthusiasts, as Valtteri Bottas has just revealed a major development that's causing ripples in the Formula One world. The burning question on everyone's mind is whether Bottas will continue his journey beyond 2026. Buckle up, because there's more to the story. Audi's new CEO has spilled the beans on their plans. They're not just revving engines, they're crafting a power unit for Sauber's cars, a team now in collaboration with Audi. But hold on, there's another twist. Audi is currently brainstorming who will be behind the wheel. In the upcoming years of 2024 and 2025, Audi's cars will be a part of the Stake F1 team. The drivers for these cars will be Guan Yu Zhu and Valtteri Bottas. Zhou made his Formula One debut in 2022, becoming the first ever Chinese F1 driver and earning a contract extension in 2024 after impressing Alfa Romeo. He will continue racing alongside Valtteri Bottas, and their team will be rebranded as Stake F1. Valtteri Bottas, once in Lewis Hamilton's shadow at Mercedes, has taken on a leading role at Alfa Romeo. The team will adopt the name Stake F1 in 2024. Despite initial promise with Williams, Bottas couldn't meet expectations with Mercedes. Since leaving Mercedes at the end of 2021, the 34-year-old Finn has been consistent, but hasn't achieved anything remarkable in the midfield. Contrary to common assumptions about Bottas having a contract until the end of 2025, a conversation with motorsport.com revealed that his contract is actually until the end of the upcoming season. Bottas plans to discuss the possibility of extending his contract with the team management in the first quarter of 2024. Bottas is eyeing a move to Audi this year after Alfa Romeo terminated its contract with Sauber, prompting a temporary name change to the Stake F1 team. Although the new name appeared on the FIA entry list, the official team name announcement was postponed until January 1st, according to the team's confirmation. Valtteri Bottas, the former Mercedes driver, joined Sauber in 2021 and his current contract with the team is set to conclude at the end of the upcoming year. He intends to initiate contract discussions with his team boss in the first quarter of 2024, as revealed in an interview with the UK's Express Sport. Bottas stated, I'm signed until the end of next year, and there haven't been talks yet. We have agreed to talk next year, I would say, in the first quarter of next year to finalize things and make sure we're all on the same page. With over half of the drivers facing contract expirations by the close of 2024, Formula One is poised for significant changes. Amidst this potential upheaval, Bottas has expressed a clear desire to join the Audi F1 team, acknowledging the dynamic landscape of F1. He remarked, It's an interesting time in F1. I think there are many drivers without contracts beyond 2024, so it's going to be quite interesting to follow how things will fall into place. For me, the goal is clear. I would want to be a part of the Audi project. So that's my goal, and we'll find out what happens next year. Adding another layer to the story, Bottas believes that if he signs a new contract for 2025, it might also include a commitment for the following season. This implies that he could potentially be with Audi for the first time in the subsequent year. The Finnish driver, once the vice world champion in Formula One, sees joining Audi as his top choice. Decisions for the upcoming years are on the horizon, and discussions will commence early this year, particularly in the first quarter, as explained by the individual. Even if Bottas doesn't secure a new deal with Audi, it doesn't automatically translate to his departure from Formula One. While being part of Audi remains his top priority and preference, he acknowledges the possibility of exploring talks with other teams if the Audi arrangement doesn't materialize. The motivation to stay in the sport is fueled by a sense of unfinished business, expressing a desire to stick around. Valtteri Bottas' departure from Mercedes, considered either a success or a setback, raises questions about the timing of Audi's involvement in 2026. On one side, Sauber is grappling with challenges, struggling to keep pace with Red Bull, facing car issues, and dropping in the driver's championship standings. However, switching teams doesn't guarantee an immediate improvement, as Sauber has faced difficulties consistently earning points in the last two years. Design issues and a lack of updates have led to disappointing race day performances. Bottas, in contrast, seems to relish a more relaxed atmosphere at Sauber, a departure from the stringent Mercedes image. Expressing a desire to remain with Sauber until 2026 when Audi takes over as the main entity, 
there's contemplation on whether waiting until 2026 is too late for Bottas. The prospect of Audi entering Formula One in 2026 comes with substantial tasks ahead. Planning a gradual takeover of the Sauber team, Audi aims for competitiveness from the outset, targeting wins within three years, reminiscent of how Mercedes transformed Braun into a championship-winning team in 2009. Bottas, with insider knowledge from his time at Mercedes, is seen as an ideal fit, expected to play a crucial role as Sauber develops its capabilities over the next three years in preparation for the complete takeover. Sauber has encountered numerous challenges in recent years, failing to secure a position in the top half of the Constructors' Championship since 2012, predating the Audi era. In response, the team implemented changes, parting ways with Alfa Romeo and forming a partnership with the gambling company Stake, co-owned by the renowned hip-hop star Drake. Despite the attention garnered by these big names, Sauber must demonstrate on-track success. Or Bottas may find himself exploring opportunities with a new team in the 2025 season. As teams gear up for decisions ahead of the major rule changes in 2026, Bottas emerges as a potential strong contender for a seat at Audi. However, the looming question is whether Audi views Valtteri Bottas as a valuable asset beyond the initial phase of building up their F1 team. This assessment considers Bottas' performance alongside Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes, where Hamilton clinched 50 Grand Prix victories and four drivers' championships, while Bottas secured 10 victories. The evaluation of Bottas' long-term worth to Audi remains uncertain. To achieve their objective of winning races within three years, Audi will require drivers with a proven track record of victories and a continued hunger for championships. By the time Audi takes over Sauber, Bottas will be 36 years old. The last instance of someone winning the World Championship at that age was in 1996, when Damon Hill achieved it at 36 years and 26 days old. While Bottas is undoubtedly capable of competing in F1 at that age, he needs to demonstrate his ability to extract the best performance from an average car in the upcoming years. If he fails to showcase this, waiting for a drive at Audi might not be the most strategic move. Therefore, it becomes a waiting game for Bottas to exhibit his skills and maintain relevance in the highly competitive realm of Formula One. As Audi considers its options for the team, current driver Guan Yu Zhu and reserve driver Theo Porcher are also under discussion alongside Bottas. Furthermore, Nico Hülkenberg from Haas and Carlos Sainz, who is negotiating a contract extension with Ferrari, are part of the conversation. There appears to be a disagreement between Ferrari and Sainz regarding the contract duration, with Ferrari reportedly aiming for a commitment only for 2024, while Sainz desires a longer stay. This disagreement could potentially open up opportunities for Audi to explore alternative options for their lineup. Share your thoughts on the significant developments in F1 teams in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.